Welcome. I would like you to have a look at these plants. They come from different families and different continents. They are not related to each other and yet they look the same. Let's have a closer look at each of the plants. These two are euphorbias. Euphorbia ruginosa on the left and Euphorbia canuti on the right. And Euphorbias are from the family Euphorbiaceae and they come from Africa. These three plants belong to the family Asclepiadaceae. They belong to a group called Stapeliads and Stapeliads are characterized by flowers that smell like rotting meat because they are pollinated by flies. So they are deceiving the flies to pollinate them. And wait, let me have a look. This one hangs down quite nicely. And this one has actually three flowers here. But the flowers are hanging down so we can only see the outside of the flowers. The flowers are not fully open yet. Uh, this plant here is a Senecio, Senecio stapeliformis. Stapeli, stapeliformis means looks like a stapeliad. And indeed, look how similar in shape is this plant to these ones. It, it is also from Africa, and but Senecio belongs to the family Composita. Family Composita is one of the most successful families of plants on Earth, and they include plants like dandelion, for example, or daisies, or sunflowers. So all the plants, all the flowers that have many petals around the center are from this uh, family, from the family Composita, and this Senecio, Senecio stapeliformis, when it blooms, it has a flower that looks like a dandelion. Quite a pretty flower. Uh, and these two plants are cacti from the family Cactaceae and they come from the Americas. They come from the New World. So what is extremely interesting in my opinion is that all these plants look the same. Maybe not exactly the same, but they have the same uh, body shape, they have the same growth pattern to the point that all of them when they are sold in nursery stores very often are labeled as cactus. And to a lay person every plant that looks like a cactus is a cactus and that's how people call them. The interesting thing is that all these plants come from the same type of environment. All these plants come from habitats where, is the, where there is very little water available from deserts or semi-deserts, when the temperatures are very high, and because they come from very similar types of environment, even though they are not related, even though they were evolving on different continents, they look the same. And this phenomenon where unrelated organisms look the same because they, are, because they were underwent the same evolutionary pressure is called convergent evolution. So here we have example, an example, a beautiful example of convergent evolution. Isn't it fascinating? I find it extremely interesting and I hope you find it interesting as well. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a great day.